for me differently from the early days with mostly men, mostly men who knew one another. These were these were all women who came from geographically different areas, mm -hmm. um, different ages. Mm -hmm. um, I remember one of the first retreats we had or the first meeting, I'm looking around the room and everybody else is looking around the room and if you didn't know, you wouldn't understand what brought these women together. Mm -hmm. right? So there was a couple of women who I met through Stepping Stone who mm -hmm. had been involved in sex work. Um, there were young women without partners or kids. There were uh, women whose partners they could trace it to um, blood, like mm -hmm. feel that. So, um, so I think the isolation was very much an isolation of diagnosis. And um, at that time, there, there weren't anybody else they could um, associate with or mm -hmm. relate to. Or, um, so these individual calls, um, people would just start to get together. And the retreats were a huge success. And I don't think it really had a lot to do with what I did necessarily. But I think it was just the, oh, for two days, mm -hmm. here we are. Right. And it's seeing somebody else, yeah. right? So, yeah, I think that that sense of isolation was really profound. And, um, yeah, it was very much hidden, I think.